Oh, hi. Mark Pearson, Executive and Artistic Director of the College Light Opera Company, coming to you from the West Falmouth Library. I hope you're all having a wonderful Independence Day weekend, wherever you are. Welcome to Second Stage, a weekly broadcast of work being done by our talented orchestra members. Second Stage is made possible by a generous gift from Caroline and Jim Lloyd. This week, the orchestra members would like to take some time to introduce themselves to you. So let's meet the 2020 members of the Highfield Philharmonic. Hi, I'm Beth Breyer, Associate Artistic Director and one of the principal conductors of the College Light Opera Company. This is my 13th season with Clock, going all the way back to 2000 when I was an Associate Conductor. I have degrees from Otterbein University in Ohio and Ithaca College in upstate New York. I love working at Clock and I love teaching music theater because I get to work with passionate, terrific young artists in the most collaborative art form there is. Hi, my name is Zachary Minlapid and I graduated from the University of California, Berkeley in 2018 and this is my second year as an associate conductor at Clock. In college, I studied viola and vocal performance along with conducting, but conducting is probably my favorite activity out of the three. This week, my watch was that Silent P, a game the cat. It was a game that cat. They're right. It was the cat. When I was a little kid, my mom instilled this love of music in me, because she loved it so much herself. She would play Burt Bacharach standards, Moon River, Christmas songs, and the thing that affected me the most as a kid, which were the songs from The Sound of Music. The favorite kind of performing arts projects I do are ones that really affect me right here, whether it's a story that I can relate to, either culturally, or romantically, or emotionally, or because the music just moves me to those kinds of places. As a string player, I love anything that has large, sweeping orchestrations, because that's the thing that really hits me the most. Hello, my name is Lindsay Miller, and I'm thrilled to be a part of my first season of Clock as an accompanist on the music staff. A little bit about me is that I'm currently a rising junior at Baldwin Wallace University studying music theater music direction. Some of my favorite shows that I've been a part of at Baldwin Wallace have been Cabaret, Kinky Boots, and the Scottsboro Boys. My dream job post-college is to be a full-time music director and pianist in New York City as well as on tours. At the end of this video, you can catch a clip of me playing I'm Not Afraid from the musical Songs for a New World, which I used to audition for this season of Clock. Thank you for watching and listening to a little bit about me, and I hope that you enjoy this season of Clock. See ya! sophomore violin performance major at the University of Oregon. This is my first time with College Light Opera Company, and I'm excited to be part of the Pitt Orchestra. Dear Evan Hansen, because I think the string part for that show is absolutely incredible. 
Um, either that or playing violin for the musical bandstand, because I think it would be amazing to be part of such a powerful show. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Peters and I am a rising senior at the University of Colorado Boulder pursuing a degree in flute performance. This will be my second season with CLOCK. Um, I will be a part of the orchestra playing the flute and my experiences with CLOCK have really secured my dream of being a part of a pit orchestra, hopefully on Broadway one day, but we'll see where life takes me. Nice to meet you. Hey guys, my name is Sophie Maniloff. I am a junior at New York University studying trumpet performance and music business. This is my second year at CLOCK in the orchestra playing the trumpet. Yeah, that was a little sample of some of my classical jazz musical theater rep. Um, dream job is to play on Broadway. And yeah, I'm really excited to work with everybody this summer. Hello, my name is Robert Paddock. I am going to be a junior at the Crane School of Music for cello performance. This is my first year with CLOCK and I'm very excited to work with everyone this summer. Um, I would love to be a pit or orchestra cellist in the future um, because I just love playing with an ensemble and connecting with all the other musicians. Thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Oved Rico. I am a rising junior at the Oberlin College and Conservatory. I am studying horn performance and I will be the hornist in the pit orchestra. This will be my first year at Clock and I'm super excited to meet everyone and get to work with everyone at the company. Um, in terms of how I got into the performing arts, I started off playing flute in fourth grade with the school district requiring everyone to start an instrument and I checked the first one off on the list and I continued that for six or so years and over time I realized that the wasn't this wasn't the instru instrument for me um, and so sophomore came around I asked my teacher hey is there anything else I could play and she said we have no French horns and I'm like I don't know what that is but I'll definitely give it a try and that was definitely one of the best decisions I've ever made and you know, after that I joined my youth orchestra, and then I think it was then when I realized if people can do this for a living, I would really love to do it. So, yeah, that's how I got into the performing arts. I'm super excited to work with everyone, and can't wait. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Pei Jun Yu and uh, you can call me Pei, P-E-I, Pei, and uh, I come from China. Uh, this is my first year to join the College Light Opera Company, so excited. Um, and also I'm currently doing my doctor degree at Mason Grove School of Art. I'm majoring violin performers at Rutgers. And uh, also I finished my two-year master degree in the same department at Rutgers either. So in total, this is my third year in United States. So hopefully I can express myself fluently and join actively through all the events, all the activities. Also, my dream job is to join an orchestra, maybe in United States. I really hope to stay here. So. Also, I really enjoy playing the violin and uh, collaborating with others. It's really fun if you can have something that you like in your future career mm, and also learning different repertoires, collaborate with different person. It's really cool. So very glad to see you. I hope to see you soon. Thank you. <laughs>
Megan Pruitt. I will be a second year master's student at the Eastman School of Music this fall. I'm studying oboe performance there. This is my first summer with CLOCK and I'm really excited to be part of the orchestra and I'm also the assistant digital editor for the orchestra. It wasn't until my sophomore year of high school that I played in a pit orchestra and it was for the show Les Mis and I fell in love with it and I knew right then that music was something that I had to dedicate my life to. Um, I love performing in any setting, in orchestra, and chamber ensembles, but I specifically love playing in pit orchestras and my dream job would be to one day be part of a pit orchestra on Broadway. Hi, my name is Abby Singer-Miller and I'm a rising sophomore at the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music. I am currently studying double bass performance. This is my first year with College Light Opera and I'm so excited to be a part of this and I'm so excited to learn. And my company position is the bass player for the pit. And then in terms of how I got involved in the performing arts at my school district, when you get to fourth grade, you're required to choose an instrument, whether it be band or orchestra. So when I got to fourth grade, I decided to go with cello and I played it for the two years that we were required to do an orchestra. And I liked it, but it never quite fit right. So when I got to sixth grade and I off was offered a position as the bass player in the orchestra, I jumped at it because I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. But in terms of pit, I didn't play my first pit until I was a sophomore in high school, but from there on, I just completely fell in love with it and I knew it was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Thank you. My name is Andrew Buckley. I recently graduated from Baldwin Wallace Conservatory of Music with a degree in music education, and next fall I will be continuing my education at the University of Illinois, beginning my master's degree in clarinet performance. This will be my third summer with CLOCK as a member of the orchestra, and this summer I also hold the position of assistant digital content editor for the CLOCK lecture series, and that is on the CLOCK, off the CLOCK, and CLOCK Tales. I'm drawn to working in the performing arts simply because of the power of music and the power that music has to change people's thoughts, feelings, and emotions. I look forward to meeting everyone this summer. Thank you. <laughs>
Hello, my name is Robert Marsanico, and I'm going into my junior year at the Crane School of Music studying violin performance with Lizel Doty. This is my second summer at the company, and one of my dream jobs is to be a paid orchestra musician for musical theater and light opera. I look forward to working with all of you this summer. Have a nice day. Hi, my name is Alex Lemma. I'm from Montclair, New Jersey, and I will be the bassoonist for the College Light Opera Company this season. I'm currently working on my master's degree in multiple woodwind performance at Montclair State University, where I specialize in low reed doubling. Uh, the biggest career goal that I have is to be playing in a Broadway pit or playing on tour with a Broadway show. And this is my first summer with Clock, and I'm very excited to work with everyone. Felicia Quinn. I'm currently a senior at Westchester University, majoring in music education and performance. This will be my first time with the College Light Opera Company, and I am a hornist with the orchestra. I love the performing arts because it's such a wonderful community, and the people are so welcoming, open, and amazing. It's just a great group to be a part of, and to be able to work with such passionate people about their art, whether that be music, dance, art, or theater, and to be able to create something with all of those people, and to put our thoughts and our hard work and our talent together is something that's such an amazing opportunity and I'm super excited to be able to do that this summer. Um, as part of my audition I played the horn solo from Leonard Bernstein's West Side Story um, which I will play for you so I hope you enjoy.
Elizabeth Singleton. I'm based in Houston, Texas, but I go to school in Northfield, Minnesota at St. Olaf College, where I'm an incoming sophomore pursuing a degree in music performance. I'm a violinist and I'm a member of the College Light Opera Company Orchestra. This is my first time with the festival and I'm so excited to work with everybody. Here is a short snippet of a piece that I've recently been working on. I love that everybody who works in performing arts is a storyteller in their own right. We all have something different to say in our work and we all have something different to bring to the table. And when we come together in theatrical settings like this, we all put our stories together and that gives the art that we make so much more meaning. I can't wait to work with everyone this summer. Hi, my name is Melissa Hagstead. I'm going to be the Tremonis for the College Light Opera Company this summer. This is going to be my first summer with CLOCK. Uh, this last year, I started my Masters of Music Performance at Carnegie Mellon. My dream job would be playing Tremone with a professional orchestra. <laughs> Hi, my name's Nick Urbanic. I am a senior at Baldwin Wallace University. I'm double majoring in percussion performance and music education. And this is my first time at Clock. I'm really excited to be a part of the, the family, the Clock family. And um, I'm the percussion guy, so any type of rhythmic needs, I'm your guy. Um, I'm really drawn to the performing arts because I strive to do more than just a good job. If you've seen the movie Whiplash with uh, J.K. Simmons and Miles Teller, there's a scene where they're at a piano bar and they're talking about life and the arts and everything. And J.K. Simmons' character says the two most harmful words in the English language are good and job. So that really stuck with me when I saw it and that's something that I strive for. I want to make a performance so impactful that it has people saying more than just good job. Here's a little something that I've been working on. This was going to be for my recital in the spring. Um, if you know the funk band Tower of Power, this is a little bit of what is hip.
this broadcast was part of our larger program, Digital Clock. Digital Clock is made possible by a generous gift from Phil and Liz Gross. If you'd like to learn more about our programming or how you can become a supporter, please visit us at collegelightoperacompany.com. And remember, the West Falmouth Library is open for curbside pickup. You can order a book online or just call and talk to a helpful librarian. Tune in this time next week for another installment of Second Stage. Hope to see you there. Thank you.